Hi guys, it's Monday. Y'all ready for Monday? I don't know about y'all. I had a really busy week actually last week and I'm ready to take on this week. <laughs> I'm really not so sure what's to come, but hey, I'm open to see, right? So we have the message of the day, right? And it is since this camera is mirrored, it's really not going to help you. So I'm just going to go like this. Make sure your worst enemy is not living between your two ears. Make sure your worst enemy is not living between your own two ears. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I finagle a little bit. I kind of want to show you a little bit how I do this because, yes, I'm using... Um, I'm using my gratitude attitude cards. I think I've been talking about it a lot. And I like to just tap into my own intuition and see, you know, randomly pick what card it comes to mind. And then I try to resonate with it, right? I think I had a video like this before, but so what? I'm doing it again. <laughs> so I like to shuffle my cards, which I already did, you know, shuffle them up. And then sometimes I just shuffle them like this, you know. Kind of feel guided to do two more messages. So we're going to pick two more cards. And sometimes they fly out like that, right? <laughs> and this one says, shame is a lie someone told you about yourself. So if you think about it, right? Make sure your own worst enemy is not living in between your head. Well, how about somebody telling you something, a lie... And it's making you feel shameful. What if you've been carrying that shameful attitude for like years? Decades, depending how old you are, right? And your worst enemy sometimes can be outside of you. You know, friends, frenemies, um, co-workers, family members. But as this card says, and I agree, sometimes your worst enemy could be right in between your head. Mental. It's that mental energy, you telling yourself bullshit, straight up bullshit, listening to your insecurities. Let's see if another one pops up. I like when they pop up. It's just me. So then that way I don't have to be like, mm, I don't know if this one's for me. It's like, yeah, this one just <laughs> popped out for me. But I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. But um, yes. Shame is a lie that someone told you about yourself, and we hold on to that. Shame is a very low, low vibrational level um, energy. It just is, and it keeps you down when you believe that. Um, sometimes we hold on to these things because we believe that maybe somebody told you, you know, that lie to you when you were a kid. You don't really have certain things, um, how to grasp certain things when you're younger, you know, but as an adult, as my own age, um, you can understand you've been around the block at least once, right? You've experienced some things at least once or twice. Some people don't experience too much stuff even as an adult, but who's to say everybody's experience is for your own, right? And hopefully for your greatest and highest good, right? But when we hold on and we look on at this, this shame, you know, um, shame being the lie that someone told about yourself. It's like, hmm, for instance, um, what if you used to get made fun of, you know, when you were younger or someone shamed you about um, some type of outfit you wore when you were younger or maybe not even when you were younger, maybe when you were older and it made you feel like crap, you know? And again, it's usually a lie because it's not who you're, true essence your true soul person is and they dampened that and they made you feel pretty crappy and it's like if you hold that energy you're holding this shame and you can't really receive anything else because you're just holding the shame now and feeling like this is what I am right here that somebody just spr sprinkled on me and now it's like you know, they sprinkled their crap on you, and now you have this crap now. By the end of the day, when you're an adult, you have to be responsible for these, these insecurities. You have to be responsible for these 
attitudes that are in your head, these beliefs that are in your head, these things that ruminate in your mind, right? And at times it can be your worst enemy if you believe all these lies that people have told you up until now. And a lot of times we react out of those things, not even knowing that sometimes these people are trying to help me, but it feels like that time when somebody threw shame on you when you were a kid and you don't even realize, right? Not trying to get deep, but you know how Monday motivation can get. So this last card, because I did three cards, I just felt like I wanted to do three. Um, it says to love yourself means to be in touch with how you feel and act in a way that respects it exactly what I'm trying to say, right? Let me say that again. To love yourself means to be in touch with how you feel and act in a way that respects it. So how are you acting in a way that respects yourself? You know, that shows people that hmm, they, they have high integrity of themselves, right? Instead of acting in a way out of anger, shame, guilt, all those negative vibes that you may react from because you're holding on to that one particular moment or a couple of particular moments that made you feel like crap. And sometimes we bite off the heads of other people that didn't even make us feel like that, but it reminded us of that emotion, that feeling. So again, it's your responsibility to take ownership of and recognize what the heck is playing out in your head. What lies are you continually repeating in your mind that you don't believe anymore, that doesn't hold any weight anymore. The only weight it holds is if you're holding it your, itself. So you look at it, this ain't for me, and let it go. Sometimes it can be that easy. Sometimes it can't be, you know. Sometimes you need help with that. Sometimes you need to talk more, you know, get more therapeutic with things. But other times... You'd be surprised if you just stop, look, and just go inward and feel what is making you feel so angry? What is making you feel so sad? What is making you feel like crap? You know? So I ask you, if you can just sit and take a moment, you know, five minutes to yourself and just think, feel what's going on inside you and just think about it for a second. It's great to do outside you know, in nature, um, because it, it feels great. It feels more natural, you know. You, you can feel more grounded and be in your natural state. So take a look, take a nice deep breath, and figure some things out because only you is going to make you happy, right? And like I like to say, stay fly. Stay forever loving yourself, right? <laughs> So with that being said, I just would like to say, let's say, make your worst, make sure your worst enemy is not living in between your two ears. Shame is the lie somebody told you about yourself. And the love that, oh, excuse me, I'm like really paraphrasing. To love yourself means to be in touch with how you feel and act in a way that respects it. So G-check yourself. Check that inner goddess and that inner God within you and see how it's vibing because it might be, the light might be pretty dim inside. If not, brighten it up. All right? So I hope you have a great Monday. I hope you have a um, great week. You know, let's let's bring some things into to the light and let's have a good week. You know, make it a good week for yourself. Just because Tom, Dick, and Harry is talking crap over there. F them. Do you, you know how to make yourself happy. Oh yes. Also, um, I just want to say, you know, make sure you like, like, subscribe. Also, there's, you know, this channel. <laughs> and um, I'm going to be having more of these. You know, every week I do that. And um, I'm starting this Patreon page, you know. Um, it's talking about some, um, it's for the creative preneurs, because that's like who I like to reach out to. I'm a creative, I'm an entrepreneur, and this is what I'm doing. And I've went through a lot of things where I feel like a lot of experiences to me in a little time frame. But I'm very grateful to be able to um, be able to dissect and introspect a lot of things. And I've got a lot of lessons out of that, and I'd love to share that. Through my artistry, I'm going to be drawing um, 
different scenarios with the blog of certain stories, be telling certain stories about that. And I would really like you guys to share. So if you check my Patreon page out, you can see what goodies I like to, if you become and subscribe, um, you get a lot of nice goodies to um, give back and show my gratitude as well. So I hope to check you out. I hope to see you guys there. And um, yeah, so, so I'm trying to build this community, this tribe. And um, I love to meet some new people uh, that are on the same page. So with that being said, it's all in the description below. And, you know, come come through. Check me out. If you like what you see, um, if you like my videos, this is definitely a place for you to be. All right. Until then, see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.